just getting ready to head out on the Niagara River. That is Navy Island, and we're gonna circumnavigate it. We're a couple kilometers upwards of the falls, so makes for an interesting day. Still be thinking about a Euroblade, and your hands will start to creep out of the right paddle position, right? So the way you get your hands in the right paddle position is you put the paddle like this. The blades are parallel to the water. You put it on your pocket like this, right? Then you put your hands on the shoulders like this, right? Put your hands on the shoulders, right? Like this. Then it's palms down. Your, yeah, if your hands are in the right paddle position the right position for pedaling if, if you put them back on the deck like this to check your hands will be like this and I, I'll tell you what's gonna happen to you I could almost guarantee it you'll find that your hands have crept up into this position because you're still thinking about a vertical euro blade so if you check and you go oh your hands have crept up you've gotten out of the right position for holding the pedal this is the right position okay so what you do is take a paddle stroke you you cock your wrist slightly so it's palms down now you have a cocked wrist like this so now you have the 45 degree canted paddle position so you say well how the hell can i go anywhere like that right because this the stroke is like this it's like this the stroke starts instead of you don't reach way out like this like you do with a euro blade the stroke starts here right here alongside your cockpit it starts right in here and, and you're slicing off the top of the water. So what you do is you got the canted blade angle and you're slicing off the top of the water in a circular movement, like you're twisting your shoulders like this. The way you get the stroke is by rotating your shoulders. Now you got your, your arms are not bent like this, okay? You're, you don't have a lot of elbow bend. You're, I'm not saying you should lock your elbows out. You shouldn't lock your elbows out. But your elbows are bent a little bit, but not, they're not bent like this. When you stroke, you don't go like this because you're not using your torso, you're just using your arms and doing this. So the stroke is like this. Why don't you try it? Don't go in the water yet. Yeah. And you're, yep. And there's sort of like, you can think like there's like a beach ball between your chest and the paddle loom. Right? Mm. There's a beach ball between your chest and the paddle loom. So you're not pulling the paddle in toward yourself. You're going like this. One, two. Now, the way you get propulsion is, this is called a, if you're going backwards, if you're going forwards, that's a climbing blade angle. If you're going backwards, it's a diving blade angle, right? What's, if you have your pedal like this and you're pulling backwards, the blade is gonna wanna dive, right? But you're using your uh, muscles, your abdomen and, and torso, et cetera, to keep it from diving. And because of that, you're getting propulsion. You're, you're, you're pulling up on the water is essentially what you're doing. Mm -hmm. That's where you get your propulsion. Most of your propulsion is back in this area. And when you finish up, your finishing position is a low brace like this. This is a low brace position. So when you finish up, you're in a low brace. That gives you stability also. When you finish up, you're like parallel. Your paddle's parallel to the uh, double of the kayak. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna, let's, let's, let's go up the river and give it a trip. Let's go up here and try it. There will be a couple of rolling things. A lot of fish. Creeping up, aren't they? Creeping it, yeah. You see that? Because you're thinking vertical. Think about slicing off the top of the water. Keep it, don't go deep. Go slice off the top of the water and follow through way back here, all the way back here. Follow through way back. Slow, smooth, 
Twist, twist both shoulders. Yeah, don't bend your elbows too much. Twist. You, you propel by, by rotating your shoulders. Rotate both shoulders. Yeah. And slice off the top of the water. And finish it back here. Smooth. I'm, you know, it's going to take time to get it. Mm -hmm. and I, okay. That, then we're, we get, then we talk about it. We talk about rolling. It's shallow. Really shallow. Yeah, it's really shallow for a while. We'll, we'll roll out the Niagara, but. But. The, th the thing about rolling is, the rolling is only is a is a subset of other strokes. So th th there's a lot of different rolls. You, you can come up back deck, which is what I was teaching Tara, front deck, or midships. But the one thing about the roll is it's all lower body and technique based. If you're thinking if you're thinking always about your paddle, you're going to be leaning on your paddle. Your roll is going to be sucky, and uh, sometimes you'll say, "Well, I can't come up at all." But if you think about body positioning instead, you can always come up, and you can come up from any position. In fact, Tara has a great balance brace. Uh, do you want to show them that? Or? Is the purpose of the balance brace more to practice yes. and be flexible and stuff? Yes. Okay. Now you see she's not even using her paddle. Look. She's not even using her paddle to say stay suspended. Do you see when she came up that her head was super low over the back deck? Because when you when you lift your head, your center of gravity is high and it's gonna and the gravity is gonna pull your head in and take you into the water. That's right. So you, you can even you can lift lift your butt up off the seat even to get lower off the back deck. You can, you can even lift your butt up off the seat somewhat. Low head over the back deck. And she's using the water to float. The water is supporting her. She let go of the she let go of the paddle. And she comes up super low over the back deck. Oh, go my paddle. So what so there you can see from that when people say I missed my roll. Like what does it mean to miss your roll? It means uh, that you're pulling down on your paddle and your body's not in the right position. And you're not using the water for support to float. And um, so there's the balance brace. There's also a sculling brace. If you can't get the balance brace, you can do a sculling brace. And and the back there the, the back deck rolls. We can start with the back deck rolls. I don't know why those are traditional. People start with those, but you can also do front deck rolls. And it has to do with sculling. And sculling means that you're you're supporting your uh, body and the boat by moving the paddle always in a climbing blade angle. But I, I think this creek is no good for this. It's really shallow. <laughs> this creek is really shallow. We're gonna have to go up. Let's go up river. This is all close there. It's too. You want to go to the where we went on Navy Island before? You want to go around the back end of Navy Island? Yeah. Okay. That's a good spot because if they come out, you can touch bottom there. You could just stand up there. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to primarily roll practice? You just want to paddle, or what do you want to do? I'm game for whatever. Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some rolling. All right, let's go around the back end of the island then.
shoulders into the water, Tara. Stalling. Go shoulders into the water. Get your head in the water. Chin to the sky. Skull. I'm gonna let go of the boat. Skull. Skull. Then I go like this. Skull. And when she comes up, she slides up over the back deck. Or I'll, I'll hold on and give some. Right on. Tara, why don't you show them some stuff? Show them. Go on, stall. Now this is much harder to do than when you're actually out over the water. Stall. Feel, feel smooth, like you're spreading butter on bread. Spread that butter on the bread. Now, lean back as much as you can, and now push your shoulders out into the water. And head up, chin to the sky. Chin to the sky, go ahead, go for it. Commit to the water, get in the water. Head down. Head down. Bring back up. Bring back up. Help me, Tara. There we go. You're, you're I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You're like lifting your head and. Look, look, I want to show you something. You're hitting it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to slide off. Chin to the sky. Your chin isn't tucked. Look, if your chin is tucked like this, it's wrong. Your head is up. So your chin is up, yeah, and both shoulders are in the water. Square them up and let them float. Let your body torso float in the water. Go on. So I'm off my seat? You don't have to be way off your seat. Just get get, get in the water and then as perpendicular from the boat as you can. Float, float. Both get the other hand in the water. Get that hand under, yeah, you can put it under the hull if you want. That's good. No, that's fine. Float. Keep control of your boat, too. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Float. Are you, do you have a lot of pressure on your hand? Yeah. Try to, if you're doing it right, you want as much pressure on the outboard hand. Float, float. Now head down, slide over the back. Head down, chin to the sky, slide up over the back. Go. Okay. You're in a big hurry to get up, okay? okay. Let me show you something. That wasn't bad at all. And chin to the sky. And then you're going to slide off and get submerged. And put the other hand, push off from the boat. Give your body perpendicular. Flat, flat shoulders on the water. Push that under the rail of the boat. The other hand, chin to the sky, and float. And push my boat away from you as much as you can. Push I, my, I'm not really floating yet. <laughs> push my boat out away from you. Oh, okay. You know, you know, you don't have to. Don't hurt yourself. Just float. Just try to float. You're letting the boat get on top of you. Put a little pressure on the rail and get your other hand under the under the hull of the boat. That hand's under the hull. You're pushing your body out away from the boat. You're floating. Your head's down. Chin to the sky. Get your shoulder. Push more of your body into the water. Chin to the sky. Shoulders in the water. And float. When you want to come up, slide. Quick, quick hip snap. Nope, nope. You're lifting your head. You're lifting your head. When you want to come up. Okay, let, you can let go of my boat. When you want to come up. There's sort of a quick movement. Are you Does it look level? of the two Dans, are you the role master or the other guy? Well, I'm the role master, but his name is role master. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if he changed his he name. He thinks he's the role master. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I love I, I ride him really bad. It's just one of those things. No, he, he's Dan role master. Now do you want to get wet now or later? No, it's fine. Because <laughs> we're going to paddle after this, right? So. Yeah. yeah. We're going to paddle. Yeah. Well, you're going to win, actually. We should go a little bit deeper, though, eh? You know what to do first before you do it? Yeah, uh, we should go deeper. Grab this. Yeah, pull. Get, well, this you don't want to... Take it off like a parasol. You're going to... Can yeah. you go upside down and pull the thing? First of all, can you pull it right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go deeper. We're going to go deeper because I want you to clunk your noggin. Okay. And hold on. We don't, we don't need any 911. Let me get out. <laughs> We got something to believe in. There's deep here. Oh, that's deep enough? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get initiation you're gonna over. You're going to see the horseshoe falls like you've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Are we able to move them? Yeah.
Yeah. Hey, Mike, could, could I have your boat? Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, you have a pen handy? He <laughs> <laughs> said I could have. He said I could have his boat. Okay. 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 Don't take the be, camera though. That'd be colder water. Oh, water. Okay. In we go. On three. One. Two. Three. This would be a good time to go pee with it. Yes, yeah. go pee. <laughs> and not tell us. Uh, what's so that? Your tell you what. Yeah, I'm just gonna back bring up. Bring your bowel over, and I'll. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we get the water ever too, right? Oh, don't you push poop. down on your stern. <laughs> Niagara Falls right there. What an awesome day. Thanks for washing my boat. Well, I have to say that that was a remarkable day. I learned a lot. Um, did, we learned a little bit of sculling, uh, some basic Greenland paddle techniques, um, and I have been baptized. I did. I practiced my first wet exit uh, in the Niagara River, <laughs> just up from the falls, believe it or not. That's, yeah, I'm still shaking my head on that one. It was, uh, yeah, just a remarkable day. Uh, thank you for the invite and uh, looking forward to our next paddle together. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Cheers.